Chase Briscoe to Joe Gibbs Racing is finally officially official. Plus, where does Silly Season stand at currently? Welcome back to Break Hard. I'm Matt. Yes, finally on Tuesday afternoon, Joe Gibbs Racing officially confirmed Chase Frisco to the number 19 car for 2025 after Christopher Bell ruined the worst kept secret since, well, aliens are real. Just ask Danica if you don't believe me. She put a whole podcast out about it. If you really have an hour to wonder about life in itself, you can listen to that. But Joe Gibbs Racing did announce that Chase Briscoe will officially be joining the number 19 team in 2025. Uh, he and Christopher Bell had some good fun with, about it this weekend at New Hampshire. Uh, Chase was like, hey, listen, congrats to Chase Elliott on getting the 19 car. I guess I'm about to call Rick up about the 9 car now. Obviously, it was always going to be Chase Briscoe going into that 19 car. And it was interesting hearing Joe Gibbs kind of talk about why they or how they landed on Chase Briscoe, rather. He said they talked to a dump, uh, couple different people, a number of people, I believe is what he said and ultimately it came down to they need to win at Joe Gibbs Racing and they think Chase Briscoe gives them the best opportunity to win which of course in what four seasons essentially in the NASCAR Cup Series he has just one lone NASCAR Cup Series victory back in 2020 two at phoenix with the fourth race of the gen seven era so he does have that nascar cup series victory he just hasn't had that sustained success yet of course he came very close to winning this past weekend at new hampshire and he lost out to well christopher bell the same guy that spoiled the news earlier in the week Bass Pro Shops will remain on as a sponsor for that number 19 car and johnny morris called in at the beginning of the um press conference and that was a little choppy and listening to him just talk over the phone was something that probably could have just been a pre-recorded you know bit that they played there but whatever i'm not here to critique the uh inner workings of a press conference at this point uh joe gibbs and chase briscoe both touched on the fact that chase is an outdoorsman and he fishes and he hunts and he's got a bass pond in his backyard and this and that and how he's a perfect fit for bass pro shops but it is cool to see bass pro shops sticking with that team even after martin Truex jr has left obviously there's a ton of speculation that bass pro would take essentially that money and jump with noah gragson to a to another team does not appear that that's happening they will remain with uh, Joe Gibbs Racing and Chase Briscoe. To what extent, we don't know yet. Bob Pockers did report that they will be sponsoring that car in the Daytona 500. I am going to go ahead and assume that Mahindra Tractor is also going to move over with Chase Briscoe as well to help fill out a portion of that sponsorship schedule. James Small will remain on as the crew chief there, uh, everyone's favorite Australian who Martin loves to yell at over the radio, even though he probably doesn't actually mean it. Martin apparently is on a boat what, earlier in the week or last week catching uh, gigantic fish, according to Johnny Morris. So Martin's already getting his retirement uh, activities in line and going fishing out in the ocean. So Chase Briscoe to the 19 car. We knew that was going to happen. That had kind of been the the guy, the rumor, what everybody's just waiting on for it to finally be confirmed. And now it is officially official and he will be headed to Joe Gibbs Racing in 2025. They'll be sticking with the number 19 as well. I think there was some speculation that maybe they would revert back to the 18. Joe says he doesn't have a plan for bringing the number 18 back at the moment. Obviously, it's been out of the sport for the last two years since uh, Ty Gibbs' team rebranded the fi- the 18 to the 54 uh, that we know it as now. So, Chase Frisco to Joe Gibbs Racing. So where does Silly Season currently stand? Well, we know we have a number of different rides that are currently open. We know we have two seats over at Front Row Motorsports since they're trying to grow to become the next big Ford thing. They want to be Team Penske, uh, which is ironic considering what happened at Richmond back in the day as well. You also have the Wood Brothers. That seat fully expected to be open. 2311 Racing expected to add a third seat as well. Same with Track House. And then you also have the new Haas factory team, which Gene Haas decided to spurn on everybody and let us know that he would be keeping one of those charters. So let's start with Front Row Motorsports. Where could they possibly end up at? Who could end up over there? Well, Cole Custer was linked pretty heavily to that. And then Daddy Gene said, uh, you know, I'm going to start my own team up. And now everybody's like, is Cole going to stay over here with the guy essentially that has sugar daddied his career up to this point uh, and stay with him? Or is he going to go over to FRM? It seems like there was a falling out of love like Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez between SHR and FRM. And that deal that we thought was going to come together just never did. So, uh, FRM potentially could be a landing spot for Cole Custer, could be a great landing spot for Noah Gragson as well. I think he should definitely be in play over there. Um, and then maybe a guy like Zane Smith could be too, depending on what happens at Trackhouse, which we'll get to in a moment. So 
Front Row Motorsports could be in play for a couple of different guys, and it still remains to be seen sort of what they're looking to get out of this, but definitely did not come to an agreement with uh, Gene Haas over taking over the shop and potentially some other things that were talked about there. The Wood Brothers, 2020. Nah. Moving on to the Wood Brothers' famous number 21 car. Josh Berry's name continues to be heavily linked to that car. Uh, his management company, KHI, has had conversations with them, and it seems like that will likely be the landing spot for Josh Berry going forward. And honestly, vibes match, right? He's a racer. He's a, you know, hard-nosed, just no-nonsense, let's go out here and race kind of guy. Wood Brothers, they built their entire legacy on being those type of guys as well. Josh Berry and that team matching up together, that just feels like a perfect match. A mature race car driver, a guy that's in his mid-30s at this point with a team that really just needs to get away from a rookie driver that they currently have or a young driver and kind of get a guy that's a little bit more mature, uh, more mature, a little bit more focused and you know has a better, I think, probably understanding on car setup and car control at this point of his career. And I think Josh Berry going to the 21 team just makes so much sense and especially they get Rodney Childers as well and Team Penske could then get access to Rodney's brain which I'm sure everybody wants at this point moving on to 2311 racing uh fully expected to have them add a third charter in I know there's a lot of people that are wondering who's going to have that ride every single rumor out there seems to suggest that Riley Herbst and his family have purchased that charter uh in conjunction with 2311 racing for Riley to be in the cup series next year I know people are going to complain about they're like Riley Herbst doesn't deserve to be in the cup series Riley Herbst this Riley Herbst that yeah, well, listen, if your family owned a whole bunch of convenience stores and gas stations across the Western United States and had a great B2B deal with uh, Monster and could afford to buy a charter, you too could probably be in that car if you actually wanted to. Riley's a formidable driver. He'll be a guy that can probably finish top 20 uh, on average in the Cup Series next year with that team. Um, how that business structure is going to be worked out, I'm actually more interested in that than who's going to drive the car. Uh, no offense to Riley, but the business side is certainly interesting, and I'm curious to see how all that will play out for them moving over to track house and their abundance of drivers because for some reason justin marks is trying to just corral all the drivers possible like he's mclaren or the red bull junior program and just sign and hand out contracts to every person i mean heck i think even keelan harvick might be part of the track house group at this point they currently have four drivers under contract and well daniel Suarez is likely to get an extension there you can make an argument that that's good, argument that that's bad. Regardless, it appears that he'll be getting an extension. So who gets that third seat at Trackhouse? Well, it's either going to be Shane Van Gisbergen or Zane Smith, and it sounds like it's going to be Shane Van Gisbergen. So what happens to Zane? Do they, you know, pawn him off like a foster child to colleague again since his ride at Spire has been taken over by somebody that they thought would be better over there? And poor Zane's getting passed around like a dog that's up for adoption. Hate to see that because he's definitely a good, a good race car driver, the same way that dogs are good dogs just they need to be loved zane just needs a little bit of love in his life at this point uh so maybe he goes over there or they completely cut him free and he could potentially head back to a team like front row motorsports obviously they're very familiar with his game he has a truck series championship with them he ran cup races with them last year all could be in play there and then we have the Haas factory team. Who's going to drive the lone cup car for that team next year? Obviously, like I said before, during the front row um, bit, Gene uh, Haas is going to be sponsoring that car. Cole Custer seems like a pretty logical fit to go in there. Uh, Ryan Priest's name had been rumored for the Xfinity Series ride. Harrison Burton as well for that Xfinity Series uh, seat. Who could possibly end up there for their cup ride? Outside of Cole, um, that's where things get a little, you know, up in the air at this point I, there's definitely people that could purchase that ride if they wanted to i'm just not sure what gene's plans are for it maybe outside of cole custer so we'll have to wait and see on that justin haley uh, said that he's committed to rick Ware racing jordan bianchi said on the athletic uh teardown podcast this week that uh if justin haley ends up where he thinks he's going to end up at he should get great results don't know what that means haven't heard uh, where a possible landing spot is for him yet and then you also have some other stuff that's maybe flirting around uh, floating around rather in the background uh, that hasn't exactly formulated itself yet but i think there could be some other things at play here still so that's where it currently stands let me know in the comments what you think about the briscoe signing as well as where silly season currently stands like and subscribe to the channel follow me on tiktok at break hard instagram and twitter at break hard blog